Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex, and this episode's subject comes in from Ikada Uro. I think that's right. Here's a question. Do you think that VR will impact gaming and change the way gaming is, or would it, or will it, be a useless gimmick? So you've got the Oculus Rift, you've got your Morpheus coming out, I think Microsoft just announced one as well. And it is something that is coming around the corner, these uh, this virtual reality is the thing. Putting these big headsets on and immersing yourself more into the world. And I think there is a, there's a step that these things are going to have to jump up, walk up, or bounce up, I don't know. And I think what it's going to take for, this, for it to really take off is everyone needs to commit to it or these, there needs to be games for it. That's the thing. The, the most important thing is there needs to be these tailored games for it that, that really show off why it's important, how it adds to things. Because what I hear a lot is every, everyone's like, um, eh, whatever, it's just going to be a fad sort of thing about it until they try it. I haven't personally tried it myself, so I'm sort of, eh, I'm not sure about it at the moment. I, I, I'd like to think that maybe it is like, whoa. Because I've heard that once you use it, it really it really is like a, oh my God, this is kind of mind-blowing sort of thing, like how how immersive it is and how almost sickeningly interactive it is at this point. And it is getting to the thing where it's like, I have a few trepidations about it. Like, I, I'm i not really sure about the whole putting it on your helmet, making yourself blind to the real world sort of thing. We're getting to that scary position where we're nearly almost inside the computer where we're, you know, like in Wally, where everyone's just attached to the screens and they're just fat blobs that fly around on these little speeder things. It is getting to that point now, isn't it? And it's, it's both exciting and scary because if this works if people really do invest in it if we do get these interactive new games and experiences from it i think it, it's highly possible that it will take off but at the same time it could just be a gimmick it, it really depends how it's used look at look at in the past the playstation move the connect you know the wiimote and all these things they are they are all very much gimmicks because they haven't had any any killer app that's really made them stand out or made them worth having and investing your time in and using over you know an elongated period of time but i think if if anything is going to really change and really revolutionize the industry as it is it's going to be this because how much further can you really go with box by your tv and or well, tv box and tv sort of thing and there's that wall in between you where you know you know you there's there's the gap there there's the real world you're actually looking at a screen or instead of putting yourself in the screen, and I guess it also depends on how you interact interact with it. I suppose you you hold a controller or use a keyboard and mouse while you're wearing the thing. And so far, what all the things I've seen for Oculus and Morpheus, they all seem like there are all these little demos for it and stuff. I know there are like there are certain games which have been adapted to be able to use it, like Half Life and stuff like that. But does it really add that much to it? Is it? Games are so young as it is, like, we're still learning so much about it, how to interact with people, how to provide the best experience in terms of immersion in that sort of way. It's going to be really interesting. I don't, obviously, I don't have a surefire answer. No one does. It's going to be a matter of when these things release, are people going to buy them? Are people going to try them out? Are there going to be apps for it that are going to be worth playing? And that's going to be the real question. I think there is, there is a high chance that it is going to flop, that people just aren't going to care. Because of that jump, it is quite a jump to go from looking at a TV screen from like a half a meter or a meter away and then actually putting a thing on your head, blinding yourself to the real world and immersing yourself through these screens, you know, millimeters away from your eyes. And I think it's weird to say, but if the porn industry gets involved, that's when it will really take off. Not even joking. Not even joking. If you get all these porn apps out there, Christ is going to catch fire, be an instant hit. So what do you think about VR technology? Do you think it is going to impact the gaming industry in any large way, or do you think it will just sort of crop up, get shaved away by a lawnmower, and just be gone? and be Because a... I think people think about like the 90s, don't they, with the VR stuff, with all the crap, that glove, the power glove, and all shit like that. It's, a, it's all the sort of same thing to them. But, but So what do you think? Yeah. Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. And make sure you leave suggestion for future job labs. I'll see you next time. Bye. Console wars originate and are fueled by a certain age of gamer. It's the sort of 10 to 15, 16 year olds that are 
that they need to defend their their purchase. Like if they they have because they have to make a choice. They're only allowed to get the one console. It's like, oh, which one do I go for? I need. I need to choose one, and then I need to defend it with my life. Otherwise, I seem like an idiot because I wasted my money. So, I, I I'm not I'm not gonna.